Hey guys, Gergay from Viscom. Today I'm going to showcase some of the new rendering styles that we have. I just created a new file and I drop in a side view sketch of a car. First, I want to do some more loose ideation material with this sketch. So I'm going to use the volume render uh, render style. And under the prompt, I just simply put it car. And with one image I generate. We designed this volume render style to give you a very pure shape representation of your sketch. This allows you to purely ideate on just the shape and the volume of your object. Okay, so here we got very clean representation of our sketch as, as in a raw 3D model without any texture on top of it. What I can do is to duplicate the sketch layer, set it to multiply, and to create this very sketch rendering style, you can play around with the opacity of your sketch. Perhaps to create some earlier ideation uh, volumes or earlier ideation sketches like this. The other mode which is very suitable for early ideation is the pasta render one. This pasta render mode uh, is also using 100% drawing influence just like the volume render in order to give you as much control as possible in this early ideation sketch style. Yes, yeah, so we got this very light and very funky colorful way of showing our sketch. And here also you can put the sketch up with multiply and create a very nice looking little early ideation render in a very colorful and, colorful and funky style which suits the overall aesthetic of this vehicle or the presentation itself. So now let's try the Viscom general mode which is which is more like a photorealistic let's say render engine. So I'm going to prompt something. Let's make it a funky yellow concept car, studio lights and buy Citroen. So I'm going to hit generate. And so with this Viscom general style, uh, we're going to have some more photorealistic representation of our sketch. I even wrote Citroen, so like a strong brand with strong identity. Uh, so it will try to apply the, the design DNA, DNA of Citroen onto my sketch. So I got something like a presentation material or like a very high quality rendering that can even be, could even be like a marketing material, let's say. So as you can see, you can create a lot of different um, ideation materials and also like final renderings with the help of Viscom just by uh, switching between these modes and maybe modifying the prompt. But what is a very interesting way to use Viscom as well? Uh, if you're talking about early ideation, we can make the sketch a little smaller and put it in the background. And what I can do, I can bring in a guy like this into the scene. I set him to multiply as well. And I just place it in the scene like this. I would make this car a bit smaller and now I can prompt something like yellow outfit guy staring at his blue car dark scene depth of field and I hit generate okay now I got this uh, like final presentation or even marketing material out of this uh, like the guy staring at his blue car and now let's investigate how we can interpret it in the early ideation like way maybe in a storytelling phase so let's try this past the render again for this past the render mode i'm going to delete the colors so i only leaving guy is staring at his car and i hit generate i'm going to choose this one i hit confirm but uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to export this image and put it back here to have the car and the guy together on one image and I'm going to set this to multiply and this way I could I could create this uh, like very cartoony or more storytelling vibe of rendering let's say so with the help of the different rendering modes we can create some uh, very diverse either ideation or storytelling materials or even some final renderings and marketing materials for different projects even so thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see what you're coming up with with these new render styles and with Wiscom uh, and let me know if you have any questions. See ya.